Hello dear students how are you all i hope you are fine in our previous video and life class we have already studied the concept of probability today let's learn more and today we are going to do the application of probability in a few word problems now children we know that probability is the measure of the chance of happening of an event like when you talk about that the sun will definitely rise tomorrow so the probability will be 1 because this is for sure to happen so anything which is for sure to happen that is which is certain to happen its probability will be 1 whereas if you have an event whose probability is not certain or it's sure that way it will never happen means like today is tuesday and for example tomorrow i say tomorrow will be friday so will it happen no this is not certain to happen so these events will have a probability zero on the other hand other experiments will always have their probability between 0 to 1 now events and the outcomes are the results of the experiments which are performed whereas sample space are all the possible outcomes in any experiment so we come to the conclusion that the probability of any event is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes now i have a question for you there is a coin and it is tossed at random you have to find the probability of getting a head we all know children that when you toss a coin either you can get a head or you can get a tail so there are only two possible outcomes so the total number of outcomes becomes head and tail that is two because there are only two possible outcomes for this now you have to find the probability that we get a head so the event you want to get a head there is only one head in a coin so the favorable outcomes for getting a head will be one therefore the probability of getting a head will be number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes that is 1 upon total is 2 so the probability of getting a head is 1 by 2 on the other hand the probability of getting a tail will also be 1 by 2 now let's see this example here i have a die and it is rolled once you have to find the probability of getting an even number a composite number a number which is neither prime nor composite or a number which is greater than 6 so let's start we all know children that when a dice is rolled we can get the following things we can get either 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 we will not get anything apart from these six numbers so therefore the total number of outcomes when a die is rolled is 6 now in the first condition children they have asked you that you have to find the probability of getting an even number so which are the favorable outcomes for getting an even number here there are 
three even numbers in the total sample space. Which are they? They are 2, 4 and 6. So the favorable outcomes is 3. Therefore, the probability of getting an even number is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. That is 3 by 6. You can cancel it with the table of 3. So you get the answer as 1 upon 3. In the next case, you want to find the favorable outcomes for getting a composite number. So out of the 6 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, the composite numbers are 4 and 6 only. So that means the favorable outcomes for getting a composite number is only 2. Therefore, the probability of getting a composite number will be number of favorable outcomes upon the total number of outcomes. That is 2 upon 6. I can again cancel it in the table of 2. 2 1s are 2 in the numerator and 2 3s are 6 in the denominator. So, the probability becomes 1 upon 3. In the next part, they have asked the favorable outcomes of getting a number which is neither prime nor composite. So that is only one number. That is the number 1. So, we have its favorable outcome as 1. Therefore, the probability of getting a number which is neither prime nor composite will be the number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes that is 1 upon 6. In the last part children, they have asked you which is not in the set. They have said you have to find out a number which is greater than 6. But when a die is rolled, you never get a number which is greater than 6. So, its favorable outcome is 0. Therefore, the probability of getting a number greater than 6 will be 0 by 6. And 0 by 6 children, we know is 0 itself. In our next life class, we learn more about probability. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.